and pray in faith. Mm -hmm. yes. And when things are going well, pray. you better give God some praise. Amen. You better let God know that you appreciate yes. what he's doing in your life. Yes. Appreciate how he's holding back the hand of the enemy. Yes. Appreciate that he is showering down on your life. Don't take God's blessings for granted. Yes. But every opportunity we have, we ought to give God praise. Hallelujah. 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 That's why the psalmist said, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and enter his courts with praise. That's why it's good when we greet each other in the morning, when we see each other in the church or even in the street, if we say good morning or good afternoon, but it's even better if we say praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord that I'm able to take one step after another. Amen. Praise the Lord that I'm able to go outside Amen. by myself. Amen. Praise the Lord Amen. for all that he's done for me in my life. Amen. As the old folk used to say, praise the Lord that I have a reasonable portion of and strength, yeah. and then I clothe and yeah. in my right mind. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. We ought to give God praise. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you. Praise Him while we have the chance. Yeah. Some folk want to praise Him, but can't. Yeah. Can't even open up their mouths, can't move their bodies. Well, we're blessed to be able to have the faculties of our limbs. We ought to, every now and then, uh, put our hands together and give God praise. Every now and then, uh, sing songs of Zion, telling God how good he is, uh, how great is our God, and he is greatly to be praised. How many know that the Bible says, that many are the afflictions of a righteous person, but the Lord delivers them out of them all. Yeah, that's the word. That's the word. So if we are sick, we ain't supposed to just stay home and feel sorry about for ourselves that we're sick. But the Bible says that if we're sick, we ought to call on the elders, the leaders of the church. Yes. So that they can pray for pray us, for us. Yes. anoint us with oil, yes. and pray the prayer of faith. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And believing that we will be healed. Amen. Amen. As such a prayer, the Bible says, will heal you. Yes. Oftentimes when we receive prayer for healing, in the back of our head we say, well, I hope this works. Yes. Yes. I don't know if this going to work. The doctor said, I'm never going to get well, but I might as well just let, let this preacher slap some oil on me and maybe it might work out. Be honest, how many of us have thought that once or twice? Tell the truth and shame the devil. That's not faith. Faith is saying, when this preacher, this elder, this leader of the church anoints me with or I believe I am healed by his stripes. I am, not I will be, but I am healed. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We got to believe it. We have to have faith and believe that God is working it out already. Hallelujah. Turn to somebody and say, It's already all right. Already all right. Amen. And not only will we be healed, but we'll be delivered from sin. Amen. How many know there are folk in the house that need to be delivered from sin? Amen. 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 So James goes on to say, Oh, he has a great name, don't he? So James goes on to say <laughs> that if you are struggling with sin. Yes. If you are struggling with sin, <laughs> confess such to a praying and righteous person. Yes. 
Don't tell everybody your business. But God will lead you to a praying person in your life. Somebody you can talk to and know it won't go any further in your conversation. It won't be the conversation in the neighborhood, but it'll be a conversation between the two of you. Someone that won't talk about you or judge you, but someone that will pray with you. Because truth be told, all of us have needed to be delivered from sin at one time or another. And we have to be glad that we have someone we can talk to. Yes, we can talk to Jesus, but it's also good to be able to talk to a human person. Right. And you don't even have to go into detail about what your sin is. Just say, I'm struggling right now. And I need to be delivered and set free. And we believe that if we are praying and we have somebody else praying, that God will deliver. Why? Because the serious Earnest, yes. urgent yes. prayer yes. of a righteous person, yes. hallelujah, is effective. Yes. Who is a righteous person? A lot of us wonder, well, who is a righteous person? And how can I be a righteous person? Because I still make mistakes. I, I'm still not perfect. How am I righteous? Well, the Bible in Matthew answers that question. Hallelujah. First of all, it describes a righteous person as someone that seeks after, that hungers and thirsts after righteousness. What does he say? What does, the, what does Jesus say? They shall be satisfied. In other words, their prayer will have results. Amen. Not that they are perfectly righteous, but they are hungering and thirsting after righteousness. Amen. They want to be righteous more than anything else in life. Yes. And then Jesus wraps it up, his Sermon on the Mount, in Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, when he says, you worried about how you're going to take care of yourself, you worried about how you're going to make it. Let me tell you something. Don't worry about that stuff. That's Just right. seek First, the kingdom of God and God's righteousness and everything else you need will be added unto you. A righteous person is one who hungers, thirsts, and seeks after righteousness. If that's you, you ain't perfect, but you you certainly seeking after perfection. You ain't where you want to be, but you sure trying to get there. You sure asking God to give you the strength to get there. You're a righteous person, and let me tell you something about your prayers. Can I tell you something about your prayers? If I got any righteous folk in the house, can I tell you something about your prayers? The, your prayers yield fulfilling desire and wonderful, in other words, full of wonder and amazing and awesome results. Has anybody here ever prayed and had some amazing, awesome, and wonderful results? Hallelujah. So I come to tell you, no matter what you're going through, keep seeking after righteousness. Keep on praying, and you'll have wonderful results, extraordinary results, Results, miracle working results, mind blowing results. If you believe it, say it. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Elijah. Yes. He was, in the text, James says, Elijah was just a normal human being like you and like me. He wasn't supernatural, he was human. He was ordinary, yes. but he sought God's the righteousness of God, God. so his prayers yes. yielded extraordinary results. Yes. He told, he prayed and asked God to let the rain stop, and it stopped. Yes. And then after two and a half years, he saw God again and said, let it rain. And the, and the, and the sky just opened up. And it began to rain. Hallelujah. You don't have to worry about whether God's going to answer your prayer. Whether your prayers are going to bring results.
Just keep seeking God and uh, you'll see the results. Keep on praying and you'll see the results. Seek after the kingdom and the righteousness of God and not the ways of this world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can't be worldly and expect wonderful results. You can't be more concerned about what the world thinks than what God thinks and have wonderful results. You can't be following the ways of this world instead of following Jesus Christ and expecting your prayers to yield any results. Hallelujah. Real talk, your prayers will be like praying up to the ceiling and watching them fall right back down to the floor. Hallelujah. God is looking for hearts. Those that love him. Those that are seeking after him. Those who are willing to worship him in spirit and in truth. When you seek after God, you're going to find that you're going to get some outrageous, amazing, and awesome results. Oh, the Bible says that we ought not to be deceived. God certainly is not mocked. We reap what we sow. You can't expect to sow hell and reap heaven. Then he turn to somebody and say, and ain't going to happen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're living righteously. Hallelujah. We can pray confidently. Hallelujah. Is anybody here that knows that you're living right so you can approach the throne of grace boldly and pray in confidence knowing God hears you. You ain't hoping God hears you. You know he hears you. Every word that comes out of your righteous mouth. If you believe it, say yes. Hallelujah. 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 When you're seeking God, you're seeking after righteousness. Hallelujah. You can be like Hezekiah and remind God about how you've been living, how you've been seeking after him, how you've been standing on his word. And you can ask God to give you 15 more years. You can ask God to give you that promotion on your job. You can ask God to heal you from that chronic sickness. You can ask God to bring peace in your household. You can ask God to deliver your husband or your wife or your children. You can ask God for anything and know that your prayers will yield awesome results, wonderful results. Have you ever prayed and God gave you some results? That blew your mind. It seemed like all hope was lost. But then you prayed. The devil told you to give up. But then you prayed. It seemed like you couldn't see your way. But then you prayed. And all of a sudden, God sent the results. He healed your body. Hallelujah. And made a way out of nowhere. He healed and he delivered. He worked the miracle. He gave you the breakthrough. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Keep on praying and believing for wonderful results. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, show up and show up. Hallelujah. 
Oh, you might as well praise it right now for your results. 